Let's start with this. Have you guys heard of the concept of spontaneous remission? Have you heard of that concept? Okay. Yeah. How would you define spontaneous remission? How would you define it? Something heals without an apparent cause. Something heals on its own without an apparent cause. Yeah, immediate um, removal of symptoms. So immediate removal of symptoms. Somebody's going through something and then spontaneously it occurs. Do you guys believe that spontaneous remission happens? Yeah. And do you, if there's spontaneous remission, that must mean that somewhere the body can heal itself. Would you guys agree with that? Yeah. That it's not just one person on the planet who's experienced a spontaneous remission. In the Word document that you'll get later on this week, and I don't send it to you on purpose earlier, or else you'd come here knowing everything I'm speaking of. You're going to see that I'm going to send a document later on this week that tells you some statistics. Um, there is a project called the Spontaneous Remission Project. And if you Google it, there's actually a website that goes along with it too. And I'll send this to you in an email. And apparently this, this project has compiled over 3,500 references from more than 800 journals documented un documenting unexplained spontaneous disease remission. And what you need to remember when you hear of that number, 3,500, you might think, well, that's such a small number. But these are in medical journals, right? Many of us in this room, myself included, have, have, re have received relief in things, but I didn't journal about it. See what we're saying? So these are people that actually got documented that there is a relief in their body from something. And I'm just going to list some case, case examples from those, those journals, because some of these case examples would make you scratch your head going, really? So HIV positive becoming HIV negative. That's pretty cool. Um, state, um, cases of uh, cancer that had spread, metastatic cancer that had spread, that had reversed spontaneously. Blocked heart arteries, so coronary arteries that are blocked, that, that go away automatically. A brain aneurysm, so a bursted blood vessel in the brain, that disappears. Um, a big heart or cardio, oh, that's not me for you. <laughs> cardio, that's all good. <laughs> Cardiomyopathy that relieves automatically. Uh, thyroid disease that goes to normal. That was me. I had thyroid disease um, after I, my residency, and it went back to normal. I didn't get documented, though. <laughs> so these are just a list of five or six examples of disease types that have reversed. Does anyone else have an example they want to share or that they've heard of? Pain, what else? What else have you guys heard of or experienced? Friend of yours, friend of friend of friend of yours, anyone? Yeah. Years ago, I had warts all over my fingers. Mm -hmm. And it was, I think, probably elementary school. And then woke up one morning and they were all gone. Warts. And warts are thought to be caused by a virus. That's the theory. So if warts are caused by a virus, we all have been exposed to that virus, most likely if it's on your hands or on your feet, right? It's not just bad people who get it at the pool. So if you're exposed to a virus, what, and she released it, like it was gone from her system, what does that say about her system? Any guesses? What shifted in her system? Any ideas? Belief system? Immune system. Probably a combination of the two. So somehow, during those years, your immune system went up. And last week, we talked about how chronic stress, one of the things it does is it depresses your immune system. So something shifted in those years. Most likely, what happened, was it, were you in your teen years or? I think I was younger, I think elementary school. Elementary school. And you know, you guys know what it's like to go to elementary school or may have kids or nieces or nephews there or seen them. I mean, it can be a stressful, stressful years. Then some years can be pretty carefree. Like, oh, whatever, everything's great. And then the next year, there's stress. So could the postulation be that for Carol, there were a couple of years that were more stressful, then one year it just lifted or something shifted, and then your immune system pumped up. And then and they're, they're telling me also that you got happy. You got exquisitely happy leading up to that, and that happiness released this virus, which again, in, this, in the model that we work in in medicine, that's not possible. You have to have them burned off or something. So good for you. Yeah. Do you think, do you guys think it's any different releasing, don't get mad at me for asking this question, do you think it's any different releasing a wart than it is a major disease? No, no difference at all, at all. 
And a lot of this, so one of the reasons we meet weekly, and I'm recording it, and you can watch it till you're blue in the face, is because a lot of this is about belief systems. It's hearing it over and over and over and over again.